Tucker, what are we up to today? Today we are on the Radflow Group expedition for the Rim Rocker Trail. We just took off from the trailhead, um, took off out of Montrose, and we're headed up the trail. Right now we're pulled over waiting for these semis to get out of the road, um, and we'll continue trekking on. Yeah, it's supposed to be a pretty easy today, day today. We're gonna be on some forest service trail roads, um, and then we're gonna camp for the night somewhere close to Nucla and park it, call it a day. So we just pulled over at a scenic overlook. Um, we're on the Uncapagre right now, and it's a pretty view, but it's super windy outside, so we'll go outside and check that out. We're running a little early, a little ahead of schedule. We ended up passing the camping spot we were supposed to stay at. Um, we're in Nucla now, eating lunch. Everybody's kind of pulled off. We're just next to this little park outside. Um, everybody's enjoying a lunch. I'm not entirely sure what the new plan is in terms of heading down um, or continuing the trail in the Moab. We might end up going to Buckeye Reservoir, which is where we're supposed to be camping tomorrow night, so we may just try and hit that today. Um, it's a pretty, pretty fun day, nice easy ride so far, so we'll keep you updated. Alright, so we just pulled over at this scenic overlook. Uh, we're overlooking some pretty awesome canyons right now. Tucker, do you have anything to say? Now Ken Springs, ride like a cloud. So we just pulled off um, of the trail at this little campsite. We got this river in the background, about ready to make some dinner. Should be good. Overall, the day's been good. Covered some country. Overall, Tacoma's doing good. We'll walk you through the Tacoma build. So starting from the front of the truck, we've got a dual battery conversion under the hood. Uh, that second battery is charged by this solar panel right here. Um, and that charges some things and keeps things powered in the back. Up top we've got an eye camper that folds out, makes a nice big size bed. We've got this 270 degree awning, uh, but it's kind of cool out so we don't really need that right now. We've got this four gallon roto pack for gas. We've got two two gallons for potable water. We've got this TNG foldable kitchen. We've got some propane storage over here, some different food storage more storage, we've got some utensils, oil, trash bags, kind of the necessities for camping. We've got this fold-out cutting board. These tables fold out. We've got a mini Blackstone back here. That solar panel up front charges this fridge, keeps everything nice and cold. Back on this other side, we've got this water tank that can give us a shower, 
a mount for it if we want to mount it somewhere, and some spare water. Good morning. We just woke up, getting ready to start day two of the Rim Rocker Trail. Um, we've gotten everything mostly condensed back down, ready to drive. We're just waiting on the Blackstone to cool down. Um, other than that, we're going to run in. There's a little town about 10 miles away called Natarita. We're going to stop, get some ice for the cooler, and top off on gas, and we should be ready to go for the day. Should be a good day. Uh, we don't have to cover as much country today because we covered so much yesterday, but so it should be a nice slow paced day today. So we just pulled over for a little bathroom break, grabbed some snacks and everything. Um, we're pretty close to the LaSalle Mountains, I believe is what they're called. Um, they're over in Utah. We've had a pretty good morning so far, covered a lot of country already today. And we've seen a lot of pretty pretty canyons and overlooks. Got to see some cool old, old mining sites, so that was pretty interesting to see. And we're just kind of taking it slow today, trying not to cover as much country as we did yesterday because we really sped things up, but we'll see how the rest of the day goes. Well, we just pulled into Buckeye Reservoir. We're at a camp spot right now. Everybody's getting their camp set up. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon, so we're definitely here a little early. Um, so we're just gonna hang out, kinda relax, take the rest of the day off, and later we'll make some dinner. We'll probably make some burgers on the grill. It'll be a good time. Welcome to day three of the Rim Rocker Trail. Uh, we're just eating breakfast right now. I hopped in the truck, turned it on to warm up a little bit. It's only about 40 degrees outside, which compared to the 80 degree, 90 degree temps we've been getting at Junction, it's quite a big difference. Um, yeah, we're about ready to finish up breakfast and then as soon as everybody's packed up and ready to go, we're gonna hop back on the trail. We were talking to some people last night. Uh, it's about two and a half hours from here, from Buckeye Reservoir. So yeah, it should be a pretty relaxed day. Uh, not that much ground to cover. This is post trip Tanner here. Um, just wanted to pop in and say a few things. Uh, number one being when we got to Moab, I completely forgot to record. We got everything packed up once we got to the end of the trailhead. By the time we had filled up and got back on the road, I realized I didn't film us getting to Moab or kind of a wrap up of the trip. So this is kind of that. We got into Moab, we got to the parking lot at the end of the trailhead and everybody was airing up. We all said our goodbyes. Um, a couple of people headed back to California. Everybody was kind of going back home. Uh, some people hung out to ride a few trails in Moab. Uh, me and Tucker did not. Another thing, I want to say a big shout out to Radflow for inviting us on this expedition. Um, they were the main reason we were out there that weekend. I know I didn't get too many shots of anybody from Radflow or anybody else. I just wanted to kind of keep it low key, keep the focus on the truck rather than who all was there. Uh, but once again, a big shout out to Radflow for inviting us on that adventure. And that being said, 
Um, I've just got some pictures left to show you guys. Uh, if you want to see more videos on the Tacoma, I'll have some videos of the Tacoma walkthrough and the Tacoma showcase linked at the end. Feel free to watch them. Um, stay tuned. We may go out on more trails. We'll see what's next.